I wish I hadn't seen the video. I wish I hadn't seen the video. Man. Whew. Guys, guys, man. In this social media area, era of life, man, you got to make sure that you have a proper spotter. No matter how many men it's going to take, two, three, I mean, man, so Justin Vicky passed away because he was trying to lift a weight that he clearly could not lift. Like when you see it and you see what, if you've been in the gym any amount of time, if you've ever experienced in a gym, you know, on liftoff, shortly after liftoff, if someone has it, you know, you know, you can see it. That's why when guys are spotting you, um, whether you're squatting, benching, a lot of times they, they'll say, come on, you got one more. We can see. You can t You can see it. Oh, man, as soon as he went down, I was like, oh, no. he." Uh... It looked like what happened to him was something similar to, like, what happens. It looked like it took his head off. Oh, my God, it's. I've heard that this happens to certain babies being born from doctors pulling by the head and that they, they get decapitated. It like pulls off of the spine. The thing broke his neck, man. Look, guys, the ego lifting, you got to have that in check. You got to have that in check. Guys do it all the time, whether it's for a video whether because the guy next to you is lifting heavier, whether it's you feel you need to be strong. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. From someone that's had their injuries and being a guy that's more, that's older than you, that's lived life. Let me tell you something. The, that extra weight that you think you can get, but you might not get it, could injure you for the rest of your life. And this is one of these injuries that I've never even heard of happening. So I, ex <clears throat> I assume it's super rare. But guys, you got to have it in control. I know too many guys that have had injuries, not warming up properly, stretching properly, all that good stuff. And going on to try to lift his weight, tear as a peck, Tears their quads. Look, just look up, look up all the the. Just look a bunch of injuries, bodybuilding injuries, lifting injuries online. You you'll find a, a compilation, a smorgasbord of them, a buffet of them. I'm 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 in personal. I have a personal view that just certain weights humans weren't lift, meant to lift, and especially like a lot of the guys you know their own gear, and. Uh, it's my understanding from talking to guys on gear that, you know, one thing with gear is that it strengthens your muscles faster than it strengthens your tendons and your joints and your ligaments. So your muscles get stronger than what is holding them to your bones. Uh, can it get, they get stronger faster than that. And a lot of guys, they tear stuff. And for bodybuilding, if you're, especially if you're a bodybuilder, it's all about your form, your pump, your time under tension. It's more about that than the weight of. They look, for, Ronnie was a freak and all that. And Ronnie's paying for, you know, a lot of people say Ronnie's paying for the way he used to live now. You don't need all that weight. I could have swore I read an interview with Triple H a few years ago. That said that when he does bench press, he doesn't lift more than 225. It's like the, he, 
because the NFL use, uses that for strength. So how many times you can do 225 they use for their strength, you know, calculations or whatever. It's like you never need to go to 500, you know, because if you can lift 225, 55 times, then you could probably do, you know, 500 one time or whatever their calculations might be. You know, they use that weight. So, guys, listen, I don't know if it has to do with declining testosterone levels as you get older. I don't know if it has to do with just experience and getting smarter as I've gotten older. But you do not need to lift those weights to look as good as possible. You can find a guy that's only lifting 135. He might do five sets of 30 because he's gotten that strong. But he's lifting a weight that he's able to get a great pump in, time under tension, if he's strict form, and he'll look like he can do 315, you know. 15 or 20 times, but he's lifting that safe weight. I'd rather be that all day. I do not care about getting 315. And I'm telling you right now, or 405. And three, when I was coming up, 315 was that magic weight. As time goes on, athletes get stronger. It's funny because as my brother was coming up, and then as I got older, I'm like, everybody wants to do 405 now. It's just interesting how our standards change, you know, and I don't care. It, I, I don't care. <laughs> you know what I care about? Longevity, living as long as possible, and it's being as youthful as possible and not hurting, you know, aches and pains and all that stuff from lifting. Nope. Nope. And I know guys that are suffering from it. So this year, the bodybuilding world is in mourning after the tragic death of talented bodybuilder Justin Vicky, 33. The fitness community in Bali is in shock after learning of the fatal accident in Paradise Gym. The accident occurred during an intense training session last Saturday. Justin Vicky, an admired and respected athlete, was working with uh, impressive barbell weight, over 200 kilograms. What is that in pounds? Because when I saw that, I was like, 200 kilograms in pounds. 200 kilograms is equal to 440.925. Now, listen, I used to go to the gym and I would do three, I would do three sets of 10 with 315. That was how I used to, you know, and then I was out. I uh, left... And I would go in, that's with my squats. And then yeah, I think these guys just go way too far. Um, next to him was a colleague trying to avoid any kind of accident. Unfortunately, it didn't go as planned as he struggled to hold the bar to begin his routine. Vicky could not hold the weight and his legs gave way initiating the fatal fall. The immense weight fell onto his shoulders and continued on the athlete's neck and head causing major injury. You just see it, his head just snaps forward and he just falls back. And I'm just like, oh my God. Medical report, medical reports, the bad news. Reports from Bali Discovery indicate that the barbell struck Justin Vicky's head so violently that the force tipped him forward, resulting in a neck fracture. They see it broke his neck. I said, it looked like it took his head off. Like, but inside, like it just broke it forward. Vital nerves linked to his heart and respiratory severing. Wait, it compromised vital nerves that linked to his heart and respiratory system. So he might have been able to have been saved if they could have maybe fixed his neck. It's not like he would have been a paraplegic, though. Rush to the hospital, doctors did everything they could to save his life. But unfortunately, his injuries were so severe that he perished from them. After the tragedy, Justin Vicky's close friend, Kang Yid, shared his sadness in an emotional statement to Bali Express. Vicky was a formidable, respectful, and sociable person. He shared what he knew about bodybuilding and gave advice to his friends as well as asking them to take care of themselves without trying to exceed their limits. 
Only know, only you know your own capabilities, he said. I hope Vicky rests in peace, close to God, and finds a well-deserved place there. And maybe, you know, maybe he was lifting something he could get before. I don't know what happened, but it clearly, when you see it, you're just like, he ain't got it. That, that, I'm telling you, I'll never go to weights like that again, ever. Man, that's sad. Rest in peace, man. Post your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about this situation.